Master Senpai. We must train the new truthers to see the truth and to know what the enemy does at all times. Hmm. You are right. Get Bellagio. He will train them. Young Bellagio, go out. Get your skills perfect and train the new truthers. Make them unite. Welcome to an exclusive video from your host, Bellagio Sampler. On today's video, I have a unique topic I'd like to discuss. In the meme verse, things are broken apart into the nine alignments based off the Dungeons and Dragons system. We are going to discuss what it means to be a chaotic good person, to not follow the rules set by a broken society, a fallen state, to always do what is right. They have good hearts and lead their own path but always upholds good values, good virtues. They have no use for laws, especially in a broken world. They hate it when people force their will upon other people. They want everybody to be free in their own right. Essentially, on paper, it is a ultimate libertarian. Jesus was a chaotic good person. He didn't abide by the rule of the time, the Sanhedrin, the Pharisees. He exposed the system. He went against the grain and he always upheld good values for the innocent. We must stop fighting amongst ourselves and face that the price for it may be dear. And I for one would rather die than to spend my life in hiding. The sheriff calls us outlaws, but I say we are free, and one free man defending his home is more powerful than ten hired soldiers. The most common character in Hollywood of chaotic good is Robin Hood, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. You see, in this time, being neutral, being lukewarm, is not going to win this war of good versus evil. Being lawful good is also not going to win this war because the enemy has ingrained itself so deep into the systems of mankind that they write the rules and they break their own rules that they've written even. The only way to beat these vile people is to be chaotic good. 4chan is chaotic good in nature and Anons are chaotic good. There is time and time again when the Anons have banded together and used their great hive mind to thwart the bad guys. Think of moments like he will not divide us. Little pranks like that used against the enemy is a sign of chaotic good. In this guerrilla war of good versus evil we need to always follow our own moral compass and do what's right and what's good for everyone. The very fact that you are investigating the vile people and what they do signifies that you are chaotic good because you want to fight for others. You want to do what's right for others, the innocent people that were harmed. Walking this virtuous path, this knightly code, you are not concerned what others think of you because you only answer to God and your own conscience because you have one and you follow that compass. We're dealing with a cult of pure evil. All they want is the destruction of the moral fabric of humanity. And don't be fooled when I say that you're chaotic good. This is not a homage to Discordianism or anarchist ways. No, this is much different. This chaotic good is like our forefathers that left British rule 
because they were being oppressed by a false church. And they left and they went to America, to a new land, and formed a new country. And they were rebels. Our forefathers were chaotic good. It was chaotic good for George Washington to dismount his horse three times a day, even when he was marching the troops, and he would get off his horse and he would pray for this nation, pray for his soldiers, pray for each other. That was a rebellious thing to do, and it is rebellious to do today, according to MTV Hollywood culture. We need new methods and tactics against the vile ones. I'm talking about a new coat of arms for modern day knights that are fighting these beasts. A code that follows goodness above all else, but is not afraid to deceive the evildoers and not play by the rules they think you're playing by to enter the modern day meme battlefield and be able to defeat the enemy in irregular warfare. And you must remember when staring into the abyss, the abyss stares back and you do not want to become the monster you're fighting. So now more than ever, study the knightly virtues, study the coat of arms, study the Bushido code, become a samurai, Become a 21st century knight. Become a warrior monk of the future. A spirit monk that walks the righteous road and doesn't follow society standards. The fallen society. The society that has become so unpure. Set yourself apart from this society. I am advocating a return to the virtuous, and good moral ways of our ancestors, our bloodlines that got us here. And I'm speaking to the good guys, not the evil bloodlines. Spread positivity out there. Failing to perform a random act of kindness when appropriate is a sin of a chaotic good person. Everything you do should be on the path of righteousness and good. All your hobbies, Get into reading, get into hiking, get into outdoor activities. Everything is balanced. I'm not telling you to abstain from everything. I'm telling you moderation is key to life and beating these vile people that live in excess. You mustn't live in excess. And if you really want to go next level, you pick up the Bible and you join God's holy army become a holy crusader because that is what the enemy fears the most is a holy warrior on the battlefield stay united work together no more attacking other people that are doing good work let's not get caught up in the minor details and differences if people don't believe in a certain detail we will meme it into existence that they'll believe it and that's just the way it is because I find it easier nowadays to meme things into existence than trying to argue with you about a specific topic. Thank you very much for listening. The videos will start to come back. I'm gonna have more random and unique topics. I am trying to break the algos and the digital demon behind the screen that is censoring everybody and silencing me in particular with a shadow ban. I am ending all the tags. You know what my channel's about. You've seen my videos. You know who Bellagio Sampler is. I don't have to use blatant Google red flag tags anymore. Like Chicago deep dish hamburgers. So thank you very much for listening. God bless you all. I love you. God loves you. And you guys have a great day. Hit that thumbs up button. If you like the show, hit the thumbs down button if you didn't. And subscribe anyway, because I know you will not be disappointed.